Welcome to the Wet Sundays, one of Australia's best destinations and why not? This is a beautiful white sand, stunning island and this is where our adventure begins. We're going to have fun in the sun and swim our way around this magic place. Woohoo! Oceanfoot welcomes swimmers of every shape and size, every speed, to swim the Whit Sundays. Alex is Hello. your host. She's going to be the one making sure that you guys have full stomachs so that you're oh. able to swim Woo! happily around the islands. So we're going to get this boat ready to depart as we're leaving. The Whit Sundays are an aquatic lover's dream with 74 Whit Sunday Islands, which lie between the northeast coast of Queensland, Australia, and the Great Barrier Reef. It boasts extensive stretches of coral teeming with marine life. Even better for marine life is most of the islands are uninhabited. The Whitsunday Islands are characterised by dense rainforest, hiking trails and white sandy beaches, which meant the daily scenery would be pretty special. But after the crew had sailed through the evening, we were nestled in the northern part of the Whitsundays, near Hook Island. In the distance, we saw the luxurious Hayman Island, but before that lay a smaller, cuter, isolated island called Black Island. This would be our inaugural swimming destination, picked by our swim guide and ocean fit founder, Andre. Um, Alright, so this morning's swim, um, like I said, is around Black Island. With a pod B, we'll swim the one and a half, one point eight K to the next post. We stop everyone here anyway, gather everyone up, and then those that are carrying on, carry on together. So here we are at Black Island doing our first ocean swims around this picturesque, gorgeous little island here. It's pretty cool. This is the beautiful Whit Sunday Islands, one of Australia's amazing sailing, swimming, snorkeling, diving destinations, and it's day one. Woo! Couldn't stop everyone to say, have a look at this! Woo! Fabulous green line. <laughs> Time thing that was amazing. I think I cried in the water. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> um, so my word of recommendation is hang on the edge guys. We're in roughly three to five meters of water. But we're gonna start here and I'm gonna air down slowly towards that white cone. Snorkeling over here, there's a point here, just off the, off the port bow. This one will just tuck around the corner and then you'll swim around the corner, around through here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In the tenders, so it's more comfortable, right? Okay. Yep. I, I am Natalie. Natalie. I'm a nice dead end jet. French. Here she goes. Swim with them. Really am. 
Thank you. Cruising the islands on a tour ship is such a buzz and the captain decided to pull out the sails. With only six crew, they all had their hands full. In the flurry, a sail got caught up, so the ants was climbing the mast to sort out the sails. Lucky them, what an amazing view they must have from up there. But someone was going to pay for the mistake and the captain bought out a bunny suit. The crew decided to play rock, paper, scissors to decide the scapegoat. Scissors, paper, rock. Get out of here! Oh, it's rock! <laughs> rock, oh, oh it's rock! You. Oh, you, you just mentioned that we... Scissors, paper, And our beautiful hostess, ah! Lewis. She sure made a cute bunny for the next few hours. are mangroves of all shapes and sizes that offer a refuge for juvenile fish and marine life to hide. At high tide, many stingrays and small sharks make their way into the lagoon. Three stingrays, this is really cool. They're going that way. It is the widest beach in the Whitsundays and one of the whitest in Australia, making its way onto many postcards and has put smiles on faces oh, of people <laughs> from all around the world. Sexy swim! This scenic beach is a pleasure to walk along with the soft powdery sand, but it would also be the last swim of the trip. So here we are at the beautiful Whitehaven beach. What a perfect swim that we get to do this morning. About four or five k's in this white sandy paradise. As soon as we're in the water, we've got a couple going past now. And a couple at the rear coming this way. This should be amazing. A five kilometre marathon that would test every swimmer. When you are swimming, mostly you look at endless white sandy ripples and occasionally a shovel nose ray or a plastic fish. But all this time, you are right beside this silicon paradise. As the swimmers stretched out their strokes, others chose to meander on the beach, and the reward of effort was as exhilarating 
as the same. As each swimmer finished, there were excited cheers, high fives and joy that swept amid the crowd. Ocean swimming is just you in the ocean and a close encounter of the natural kind. I bid farewell on our final night to the island of white sandy beaches, rocky headlands and green forests. The waters that glisten like turquoise in the sparkling sun silver in the late afternoon and golden as the colours of sunset movie. Nature offers so much I could barely keep from tearing up as I look out over the water and I always think how can we do a better job of protecting paradise for future generations.